The idea for the concept originally sparked when I was uh, walking through a second-hand shop and there was this uh, little lamp which looked like a hippopotamus. The head of the hippo was like the shape of the front hood of a classic car. And I thought, well, if I just take it from this angle and put some wheels on there, it looks like a car. It looks like a hippo, basically. Well, the first time I saw a piece from Frédéric Muller was this Hippopotamus DB5. And I cracked up. I mean, that's the epitome of class. It's Goldfingers, Sean Connery. And when I saw his drawing, it just made sense. Of course it's a hippopotamus. When I first got contacted by the Mag Gallery, I was really surprised, to be honest, because I was just starting out as an independent artist. I kind of envisioned to have an exhibition at some point, but I really didn't believe that it was going to happen so quickly. Every one of his pieces makes me smile. Every one of his pieces makes me happy. It brings me back to the child I was. But it's super complicated to do. The process is very basically explained. You kind of draw something, um, you sketch out your ideas, then you go into the 3D software, you build everything, and then you can just add to it or cut things away or redesign the parts. When you've built everything, you need to unfold all the 3D shapes, you need to flatten them and then you need to basically paint the textures onto it in Photoshop. After that, you assign all the materials. So you have to say, this is gonna be the car um, paint. It's gonna be shiny in this way and that. You have to do the lighting. So you set up where the sun comes from. A lot of rendering, re-rendering, retesting, changing things, changing materials, changing lighting. And uh, that's the whole process. And that's a lot of work that's behind it. Some part of me still can't really grasp that it's all hanging here. I'm actually seeing this for the first time in, in this big size. I'm very humble and thankful for that. This is a 3D modeling which has taken months to do. It's actually an incredible, insane work of work. <laughs>